In this video, we will review how to launch notes directly from shifts on the scheduler. To get started, click on Scheduling. Filter to your site for the shift that you are writing the note for. You may also choose to search by shift if that's easier. Then, find your shift for the day that you're documenting your note for. You will see all the clients associated with that shift, and to write a note, simply click the blue icon in the Add Edit Note column. All information from the scheduled shift will populate to the note. Notice that each caregiver scheduled for the corresponding shift will be displayed. Both caregivers may author the note, and if both names remain here, both will be required to sign off on the note. If only one of the caregivers will author and sign, the other must be deleted, which can be done by a supervisor or note super user. Once a caregiver has signed the note, the timestamp will populate the date signed field. Click Save to see the goals. Complete the intervention and assessment keys for each goal. Some assessment keys may auto-populate based on the way the goal was set up. Additionally, some keys may require a comment, which is why the goal would remain in a yellow highlight rather than turning to white. Once the comment has been entered, the goal turns white, indicating that all required elements have been satisfied. If you see time management columns, enter in your start time and end time to record the duration you worked on the respective goal. You may have additional fields to complete as well. Each caregiver may choose to add a shift comment. This is optional and just allows you to provide a general summary of the activities and events that occurred during your shift. Sign the note when you have completed the documentation. This is using the password you use to sign into the program. Any validation warnings will be presented. For group notes where multiple signatures are required on the note, the final signature must be applied after the end time of the shift has passed. Other caregivers are allowed to sign in the middle of the shift as needed. We should also review the notes dashlet on the dashboard as this can be a very useful tool in knowing the sign status of each note, especially useful if you are not authoring the note but need to sign off on it. The Group Note Signed column is specific to shift notes. If this is checked, it is an indicator that you have signed off on the note. When it is not checked, and you see your name listed along with others in the caregiver column, this is an indicator that you need to sign off on it. You can launch the note directly from here in order to review it and co-sign it. You may add additional comments and complete all required fields as necessary. Shift notes can also be created on your mobile device. Let's take a quick look at that workflow. Once you log in to OnTarget through your phone, you will see a list of all of your shift schedules for today and seven days prior. 
any shift that is highlighted, as in this case, indicates that you've not yet written the note. Shifts with the green check mark and that look as if they are locked down indicate that the note has been signed. Click on your shift accordingly and move through each screen to complete your note. All of the rules that we just discussed when reviewing the grid note from the desktop version still apply here. If you see a start and end time, it is to indicate the duration of time you worked on the specific goal. Complete each goal by choosing Intervention and Assessment Key. Click at the bottom to move to the next goal. Continue repeating these steps until every goal has been addressed. Once done, you may then sign off on the note. The Sign Note button will become enabled at the bottom of the screen once all of the goals have been addressed.